Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and grease up a grease gun. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today, I've just taken delivery of my brand new JCB grease gun. My old one broke and I decided to purchase a JCB one thinking that the quality on this might be a little bit better. Price wise they weren't too bad and I've just known working through the years people struggle to load up the grease gun, how to assemble it, put grease in, get it to work. So it's just a quick tutorial and I suppose a review of the JCB grease gun. Let's get into it. Alright, first job. Open the bag. Your grease gun might look something like that. You can get these in a pistol grip, so it's one hand operated. I have to throw this because they can be hard to pump. You want to get the two hands on the spring on the back. You got to pull that out all the way. Then that locks in place with a little button. Release that then. Take the pressure off, press that button down, and that goes in. There's a big spring in there. That's how that operates the grease. So this has come with a flexi hose. Can get these in either in a solid hose or a flexi hose. Flexi hose is probably the better option of them all. Screw that on the top. And just to note the other features, your handle, your hose, there's a valve there that releases the air out if you've got an airlock. That stops the air building up, releases it. And that's it. Pretty simple thing. Pretty simple to use if you know how to. So we go ahead and put a grease cartridge in this. First thing you do, pull this all the way out. Make sure that is locked in place. Screw the bottom off. You got a big empty cylinder in there. Now the type of grease you use is very important. So I've decided to buy JCB grease. This is known as JCB Blue. It's a lithium uh, H grease so it's very very good quality. JCB claims this grease is a higher quality than your other HP type greases. Um, I don't doubt that JCB sells a lot of expensive machinery they got to make sure their grease is right and that doesn't wear down the machinery um, too quick so no doubt this grease is a good grease and it's made in the UK as well it's not imported or anything so there's another good reason to buy this grease. Two ends of the grease You've got the small cap on that side and the big cap on this side. This comes off and that's the blue grease in there. That goes down into the tube or the cylinder like that. Then you've got the top which is a little bit like a cork can type thing. You can get these with a metal head that peels back like a perfect can of cork. This is just a plastic and this is a bit that gets grease all over your hands, even on a brand new grease gun. You think they'd have come up with a better way of doing that. Anyway, a little bit of grease in there, don't let that go to waste. Scrape that into there. And that's all you've got to do then. Screw this back on top of this. At this point, make sure that back spring doesn't give way. Now I take that tight then I slacken it off a little bit because as we release this it's going to be pushing air out. Right, that's gone back all the way. Get that hard. Now hopefully she'll work straight away. Feel it working. And there it is. Grease 
on a brand new grease gun, no air pockets. That is the perfect way of loading a grease gun from now. A little bit about the grease gun, because that's all it is, you're ready to grease now, that's a simple, simple process. If you don't slacken that tube off when the cap, when the spring goes back up and you trap air in there, you get an airlock and that won't work. But when you tighten that up, slacken it off, push that spring back in, the air comes out, grease is free to go all the way up. And it's as simple as that. So about the grease gun, this feels pretty good, pretty bit of weight to it, feels quite good, quite heavy duty, it's definitely not um, the most expensive out there, this price is a mid range. Nothing left to do it now, we'll grease some things down, see how she sits on the nipple, how tight she sits on the nipple, and that's it. Okay, we've got the loader here, we've got a couple of grease points on this, push that in. And then start pumping away and that's working pretty good you don't want to over grease a little bit of grease coming out there that's enough good lock on there because you want that to be quite tight so you've got two hands to pump there's nothing worse when you've got to push that in hold that in with one hand and then try and pump the grease with the other hand you try one on this side push that in That's greasing lovely. A bit more. I like to grease just until you just start seeing it coming out. And then that's enough. Because you don't want to be giving it anymore. Because you're just wasting grease and you're wearing your joints, etc. Or the seals. But there, uh, you don't want to put too much in. Normally, three or four pumps. As long as you grease the machine enough, that's more than enough to do it. Well, that's it. That's how easy it is to load up a grease gun and the next time you come and do this it's even easier because you've got grease through the system, you just can't get it on. Once you put the cartridge in, plug it back up, it'll work every time. It's the first time is the hardest when it comes to loading up a grease gun. For this JCB grease gun, loaded up easy, we tested it out, grease is coming out perfect. So, would I recommend this grease gun? Yeah, I would. Value, mid-range is very good. I've heard a lot of good stuff about the GCB grease as well, so we're going to test this grease on all the machinery this summer, but so far it's a thumbs up from me. Thanks for watching the video. Now if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video every week. Thanks for watching.